one of the biggest determinants of how fast you can run. Oh, you think you're a big man because you got current? The last time Pat and I did a marathon swim, we were shattered for probably a week and a half. What's up, Traniacs? That was a five and a half K run in 24 minutes and 38 seconds, 429 per kilometer pace. And I am in love with a new product and I'll give you a hint, it's around my waist right now. Let me go put on a shirt and I'll explain. All right, allow me to disrobe my new favorite product before I tell you about it. Oh, and I gotta go get stuff. All right, so for years, I've always wanted to run with music or right now with a GoPro so that I can bring you all along with me, but I've always struggled with how do I bring along whatever I wanna bring along. Like I hate having that armband. I think it just looks awful. And I've got an iPhone 7 Plus, so it's huge. And you can't run with this in your pocket. You can't run with it's a crazy pain to run with this in your pocket because they're so heavy that they start jingling around and you basically can't do it. However, I've got the answer. This may be old news, you might all know about this, but this is news to me. This thing, it's called a flip belt and it's basically like a stretchy sash that goes around your waist and it's like a tube. So the entire way through, you got these pockets. I shouldn't have got the black one. That is awful to show you. But you got these pockets that you can stuff things in, like, whoop, boom, gone. And because it's so stretchy and it cinches around your waist, it doesn't jingle around at all. It is completely unnoticeable. So I put this in the back, like at the small of my back, and then I run these up through my heart rate strap and bam, nothing jingles around whatsoever. I just ran with these earbuds that are notorious for falling out, this giant iPhone 7, the GoPro Hero 5, and a set of keys to get back into the office and I did not notice it one bit. Oh my God. In addition to that, flip belt has these water bottles that you can take. That, look at this. They're curved to fit along the small of your back or along the side of your body so that it doesn't dig in. And they've also got this. I got this little money change pouch so that you can put your cards in it. Like, they haven't paid me to say this. They just sent it out to me to give it a shot and I've actually had it as an open tab on my phone for a year and finally I was like, you know, I, I gotta see if I can get this. Got it? Dudes, dudettes, get yourself a flip belt. So impressed. Oh, small tip, either have it really low on your waist or really high. Otherwise you get a muffin top. Me, with my love handles. When I first walked out of the office, I was like, there's my fat. That's my shame. I'm ashamed of my fat sometimes. When I have a muffin top from this thing, I'm ashamed of it. Ooh, it's big. I haven't done this in ages, but I'm, I'm such a big freaking fan of this. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get this on Amazon. It's not gonna cost you anything extra. It will give us a small commission, helps out the channel. And like, this is something that I got no problem saying to every single one of you, go get one. Go get at it. And one more thing about that flip belt. Word of warning, Trainiacs, this is the point in the vlog where I start getting a little bit gushy. And you might not think it, but one of the biggest determinants of how fast you can run is actually how fast you can pump your arm. Because your arms partially determine how fast your legs turn over, and the faster your legs turn over, the faster you run. And what I find is that when I'm holding something in my hand, a GoPro, a set of keys, a phone, anything like that, I'm not able to pump my arms nearly as fast as I should be. And the more I do that, the worse my technique gets because I get in the habit of not pumping my arms very often and 
just in general, my pace goes down. Like the run today, I did that in 429 per kilometer pace, which has felt like a little hot over the last few months, but I just swam 37K in a river three days ago, and it felt easy today doing that 429 per kilometer pace. So just get a flip belt. And now we ride home in the rain. Before the long swim, I used to look at this river and shudder, and I was afraid of it. Now? Oh, you think you bad? What? You ain't got nothing on the Trainiacs, bro. Come at me. Come at me. Huh? Oh, you think you're a big man because you got current? <laughs> what, what was that? What was that? What, what'd you say? What'd you? That's right you didn't say nothing. <laughs> big river fall hard. What you got there? Those raindrops? or tears. Oh, Trainiacs, Trainiacs, Trainiacs. Shockingly, that run actually felt pretty good. I'm not sure what it was about that swim, but the last time Pat and I did a marathon swim, we were shattered for probably a week and a half. Yesterday, Pat went for a bike ride, Today, I went for a run at a decent pace. Jacques is already thinking about doing a 46 kilometer swim. I think that because it was so cold during the swim, we might have actually flushed out a lot of the lactic acid and the accumulated like gunk that builds up because we were basically doing a giant ice bath as we were going through the swim. Maybe, maybe. So that said, dudes, I think that we're gonna be setting a goal for a half Ironman coming up soon. And I've got some ideas about how we make it actually a team Trainiac event. If you've got suggest, who's this? Hey. Pete, did you learn how to open the door? Good job. Where are you going? There's food on the counter. I will not put away my dishes when I'm done. So if you have any particular races Half Ironman distance, doesn't have to be Ironman brand, can be Challenge or Rev, around late October, early November. Put them in the comments below, and if there's a trend of one specific race that a whole bunch of Trainiacs are going to, let's see if we can make it a Trainiac little shindig, huh? We'll take over a race. Send a message to the world. Pete, you wanna send a message to the world? Later, Trainiacs. And yeah, everyone asks, like, do I just like set up cameras and then pretend like I walk into them? Yeah, I do. And then I walk away and then I come back and I get them. So you have a daily story to watch. It's just storytelling. All right, guys, come on. Pete, come on. There you go. Grace, Gracie, come on. Let's go. Come on, come on, hurry up.